Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to kind of a channel update video and a little bit of an update on Simple Core here. So first thing, I appreciate all the new subscribers. We're just about to hit 1200, which is just amazing. Um, my analytics show that 80% of you aren't subscribed, so definitely feel free to subscribe and uh, share the videos. I have a lot more 3D printer designs coming and 3D printer videos, clipper videos, um, a lot of stuff like that, so uh, definitely feel free to subscribe. So I wanted to do kind of a final overview update here on Simple Core. I know definitely there's a lot of new subscribers here and maybe some of them haven't seen the printer in its entirety. So this is my simple, inexpensive Core XY 3D printer. It's made to be used off the shelf parts. There is nothing proprietary on this printer. It doesn't use weird like bearings or hard to find parts. It uses the most standard, easy to find parts possible. This is a belted Z, tri belted Z, individually controlled. So it does do tramming and it can level the bed itself, which works very, very well. This printer does run Clipper. I do have a GitHub for this printer in the description below, as well as the bill of materials. The bill of materials is definitely a work in progress. I don't really have bolt sizes and stuff like that on there. Um, that being said, for the most part, you can order a kind of general pack of M3 bolts on Amazon. Will get should get you most of the way for this printer. It doesn't use a whole lot of uh, bolts and nuts. This printer does use the EVA 2.4 tool head, so you can check up the bill of materials and screws and stuff needed for that. And um, as far as M5 hardware, this printer just uses um, M5 by 10 button head hardware, as well as M5 by 35 socket head hardware. And that's just on the um, carriages here, and the button ones are for the frame, of course. Again, simple corner plates here, um, three-way corners, this 330 size printer just uses 500 millimeters um, even uh, for the 2020s. You can scale this up or down very, very easily. Um, all the parts are very, very simple. There's not a whole lot of printed parts on this printer. It's meant to be easy to build. I haven't really done a build video on this printer and that's kind of the reason. It's generally quite easy to build this. However, uh, definitely feel free to join my Discord or comment below if you have any interest or questions or anything like that about the printer. I built this one kind of in an experimental form using the G10 build plate here. It seems to work okay. Um, I do have to dial in some settings and stuff like that for it, but um, this printer did accomplish what I set out. Um, I wanted a large printer that was easy to build that was relatively um, inexpensive for its size. Um, this is generally around a thousand or eleven hundred dollars Canadian. You can definitely build this printer for cheaper. Um, I would like to revisit the bill of materials and maybe choose a couple different components here and there and I think I could get that price down for sure. So yeah, I just kind of wanted to do a really quick overview here on Simple Core. Um, the printer is essentially finished as far as the CAD is concerned. Um, I'm really hoping that some people build this printer and there's more user mods and that type of thing. Feel free to send me any mods you have for this printer and I will put them on the uh, GitHub for everyone to use. This printer is generally not uh, meant to print fast. It's meant for quality. So um, like here is a Benchy here. Um, very, very, very happy with the print quality of this printer. Um, this is an excellent printer if you want uh, print quality and that type of thing. It's definitely not meant for speed. However, um, you can definitely print relatively quick. I generally print at 100 millimeters a second um, and anywhere between three to 5,000 acceleration using Clipper. But that always can be changed. Um, if you made a lighter X carriage, um, that big, huge 2020 is definitely a lot of weight. So it would be really cool for some user mods to come out to lighten up the X carriage. And then I'm sure this printer would perform even better as far as speed is concerned. So yeah, that's kind of an update here on Simple Core. 
like I say, uh, definitely feel free to join the Discord. We have a lot of awesome people on there, and we have an awesome community. Um, there's a lot of other channels on there, not just for my printers. Um, there's a really good Delta channel on there for Delta 3D printers, which is awesome. Um, there's the um, like Ender 5 conversion, like the Mercury Zero G printers on there. There's a Voron channel on there. There's definitely a bunch of people building Vorons on there, which is really neat. So yeah, I'm trying to really just build a very friendly 3D printing community. Doesn't have to be about my printers or any printers in specific, just anything uh, involving 3D printing. So that's uh, an update there on that. And if you look back here, you can see all the parts here required for Carbon Core, which is kind of my faster do-it-yourself Core XY 3D printer that I'm building. And kind of <clears throat> want to compare this to my Bamboo Labs X1 when I get it. And the comparisons are kind of going to be like all sorts of stuff. Speed, general use, how easy, easy is it to maintain, price, that type of thing. So... Look out for videos on that. I am hopefully planning on doing a live stream here, maybe in about three weeks or so, just kind of a chill live stream. I would like to show off the frame, assembled frame for this printer, as well as I do have a surprise, uh, something I've been working on that I'm going to announce on that live stream as well. So like I say, generally in about three weeks, it's gonna be on a Saturday or a Sunday, and the time is going to be probably around 8.30 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So I'm hoping a lot of people are able to join that stream. And like I say, I think it's going to be maybe an hour maximum, just kind of a chill. It can be a Q&A stream. Um, I'm going to have a couple things to show off, uh, that type of thing. So that'll be really, really neat. And um, again, look out for future videos on projects that are coming down the pipeline for my channel. There's definitely more clipper videos coming. I have new printer designs that are eventually going to be coming, uh, like redesigning my Delta 3D printer, that type of thing. Any kind of big changes to Simple Core are going to be coming down the pipe, that type of thing. And uh, for sure, a lot more videos on Carbon Core, how well it works, if it does even work. Again, it's a prototype. I'm experimenting. I like to try things out um, in real life, physically first. Um, and I want to see kind of how do things affect print quality. Do cheapo $6 carbon rods off of AliExpress work? What kind of bearings work? Um, that type of thing. So yeah, I'm really excited to start working on that. That's going to be really cool. Like I say, all the parts are essentially there. I think I'm missing the glass bed, but I can start working on the printer now officially. So there's definitely going to be a lot more videos coming for that. So again, uh, feel free to subscribe, um, comment below. I have my GitHub down below. You can support me on Patreon if you like. Um, and yeah, I would really like to see more people on the Discord. It is really a great community. And uh, thanks everyone, and I'll talk to you next time.